So what we're doing is we're trying to work on the robo dolphin. And so we're gonna try to get down the mechanics of the way that the dolphin swims. So I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of that. So what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get my body moving in that dolphin movement. And then we're gonna try to simulate that in the robo dolphin. So here we go. All these simulations that we're doing, we're going to show you some of the test dolphins that we've been using over the years, and we're going to try to show you how we've kind of perfected this uh, in the water and how we use the Robo Dolphin right now. As you can see with the Robo Dolphins that we've used in the past, they're more of like a toy dolphin, but there's definitely a need for these because you can see all the people just lining up. This is more for resort style stuff. We're not trying to weaponize the dolphins to do anything crazy but we're just trying to create a fun environment where you can actually swim with the dolphins and they're just robots and so you're not harming the dolphins and you're not keeping them as pets so that's what we're trying to go for so but we wanted an experience where it's more lifelike and so we started working with the special effects that we could do with the dolphins and so this is what we kind of came up with and so we added some mechanics and some motors to try to get the tail movement more real. And I kind of demonstrated this in the pool as I was swimming. The dolphins have this up and down tail motion, and so we wanted to have it, but then we also just really wanted to mechanize the whole thing, and so we started working on making the head more realistic, and we practiced with different skins, so now it doesn't really look like a toy, it actually looks like a real dolphin. We had the artist come in and try to make it look like a real dolphin, and so, we're really tinkering around with the robotic effects. We have some eye movement added in there. Right now it kind of looks freaky because it's not, doesn't have the full skin on there. But right now we're really trying to work on the mechanics of the dolphin, getting that down. And then we're gonna work with that other skin that we had the artist doing. And we're gonna put those together and try to create the most realistic dolphin that we can make to create the best dolphin experience that we can have. And so we think the Robo Dolphin is really gonna be a very popular thing in the coming uh, years. Uh it's one of the first test runs early on in the process. We wanted to see how it interacted with the wall. As you can see, it kind of falls over a little bit. And we also asked what our customers thought. They thought the mouth was a little bit too pointy. This is a uh, one fourth scale of what our original model is gonna be, so. We kept working on it. This was the next iteration of that where it uh, interacts much better with the wall. And then we also added a routine where the head would bob up and down more. People liked that more. They thought it was like the dolphin playing with them. And then finally our investors approached us and said, well, there people also like to swim with sharks when they go on vacation. Maybe you could put a shark skin on there. So here's one of the shark skins that we tried. We did have some interest uh, once we went into the shark development of putting laser beams on their head, but it's not something we're really interested in, so this was early and we just stopped. We're at the point now where we have a very good working prototype, as you can see in the water, and we have good teachers that know how to interact with the uh, people that are there for the experience, and I'm just gonna stop talking and let the experience show off for itself. As you can see, the dolphin looks really lifelike in the water, and these people will share some of their interactions here. Yeah, and I saw what looked like a real live dolphin. We are going underwater, and you're gonna look for the round shells. The most interesting thing I just saw was the illusion of a live dolphin and the ability to interact with it. So we've put a lot of time and effort and we just feel like we've kind of nailed exactly what people are looking for in their experience with the dolphin. And so he's going over the body movements that she can get from the dolphin. And this is what I started the video with saying that we put a lot of research in developing how the dolphin swims. And as you can see, I mean, it looks very close to what a real dolphin looks like and so the swimmers love swimming with these dolphins. Let's see a little bit more. Yeah, what we might learn from a robotic dolphin. Um, I think you can learn a lot of things. I think you can learn um, the most efficient way to move through water in general and then I also think it's helpful to learn more about dolphins in general and um, how just amazing they are in um, their like their way of life and moving across the water.
And so now we also wanted to test out how our Robo Dolphin would work at an aquarium show. So see if you can tell which one is not the real dolphin. And so here we go. I don't know if I'm giving it away or not, but uh, here's a couple more. Um, there's only two of them that are not real dolphins. And did you pick out which ones are not the real dolphins? If you figured it out in this show right here, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, that's basically most of the demonstration of our Robo Dolphin. And so we are working on a manatee version also. And we're just really excited about this project. Uh, by the way, this whole video is just a parody. I'm just kidding. I am not the developer of the Robo Dolphin. If you like this dolphin video, please check out my other video with dolphins swimming in the bioluminescence of bioluminescent algae. That one's pretty awesome also. Please like and subscribe. If you liked this video, we're going to be doing much more videos about science, nature, robotics. Keep science awesome. So my wife told me that I had to specifically say that this is a parody. I actually made an original cut where I was just going to put the parody part down in the description below but she said i had to say that it was a parody because people wouldn't be able to figure it out i was too convincing every time i said we and i developed it and we did all this so this video is just a joke it's just a parody so i just wanted to put it out there this is actually based off of an article that i read about a robo dolphin and this video footage is actually from that article and they actually want to sell these to resorts in China for about 40 to 60 million dollars. Do the research on your own and you could be making robotic dolphins and selling them to resorts in China. It looks like that would be a pretty cool job if you ask me. So good luck with that. Do the research. I'll try to find the, the article and put the link in the description below. But again, that's pretty cool. It's very interesting and that's why I made this video to share the information out there. So. Keep having fun, and again, keep science awesome.